Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 16 of my Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. Three and a half months ago, when I started this project, one of the first things I did was lay down some train tracks. Then I took my locomotive, a couple of wagons of cars and tested the train. All went perfectly smooth, no problems at all. Then I forgot everything about it. Now, now we have the same tracks, the same train, but I have absolutely no ballast under the tracks and I can't bear a train track without ballast. So I need to spread it right now. Nothing very difficult, okay? So where's the problem? The problem is that three months ago the tracks were completely free all around the layout, 360 degree free. <laughs> and I could even jump it onto the styrofoam to spread correctly the uh, ballast wherever I need it to be spread. Now, with all those buildings and everything else, it is a little more complicated uh, and I will need to pay so much attention and not damage anything, hoping that I can manage to spread the ballast even in the middle where it is most inaccessible, where the tracks are most inaccessible. Then uh, I will do many other things. <laughs> this part 16 will be a mix of many things. Ballast, yes ballast, but what is the ballast? Let me just do a little introduction there. I took one of my uh, straight uh, track there. How is composed a uh, track? A track is composed obviously by two rails, on top of which the train is rolling. And under the rails, you have some ties, the black ones at 90 degrees. So ties or sleepers, it all depends where you are from, Europe, England, um, US, Australia, okay? And that is all, no. Under the tracks, you need to have a bed. And this bed, it is called ballast. In real life, it is made by crushed stones, varying from this dimension here, to even bigger or smaller, with no precise form at all. You simply took some big stones and you crushed them. So you need to have the bed, then the ties or the sleepers, then the rails on top of the ties or the sleepers. Why adding a bed? Why adding a ballast? Simply because it gives stability to the tracks, it uniform the weight, it distributes the weight of the train when it roll on the tracks. Also, it prevents the accumulation of water or uh, snow uh, on the tracks because it facilitates the flowing away of the water and of the uh, snow. Nothing else, okay? Uh, in real life, crushed stones. <laughs> I cannot do some crushed stones. Uh, lucky for me, uh, this company here also produces some uh, pre-made um, ballast. So this is a Chateau Kalkstein um, by Be Beige Brown. So uh, normally I use or this kind here, the gray one or the Mm, brown one. This time, this uh, 2021 season, I will go with some uh, grey ballast. It is pre-made, it is very, very thin and uh, uh, I will use it. Okay, generally I use uh, three, four, 
five bags of these i don't know and just remember that only where i have a visible tracks i will spread the uh, ballast not behind uh, the um, not behind the main point of view because it is useless to have a ballast where the camera will or the eyes will never uh, go there so the, the small pieces are between 0 0.5 and 1 millimeters of uh, dimension so uh, it varies from black to gray to white then you have also some copper or maybe so it is some shredded something shredded from this company and i use this little tool here this little tool here that has some marking there okay you need to place the rails here uh, it is not universal, this uh, tool here, it is adapted to some HO uh, or H0 tracks. Every track uh, needs to use uh, the proper um, bala um, uh, spread uh, ballasting tool, okay? Uh, spreading ballast tool, sorry. And I will fill it in it and then I will go this way and the ballast will uh, spread regularly on top of the uh, track. I could go with uh, with a uh, simple uh, paper glass or plastic glass filled with this uh, ballast here, but I will not get a very proper, a very clean uh, spreading of the ballast. So I will use this uh, tool here. And then, and then after the um, ballast is spread, I will use a mix of water and PVC glue to fix the ballast where it has been spread otherwise it will go everywhere on top of the, <coughs> sorry of the mm, layout so uh, this is my little introduction uh, let's get to work and i will start from uh, let me just move the camera i will start from that corner there so i will proceed this way here okay going here and then I will go there under the stairs then uh, in the uh, gallery there and then back there no ballast at all okay so this is where I need to spread the ballast uh, let me just uh, fix the camera in another position and I will go with the uh, ballasting mm. closer look when I will be doing the final recap but hey I've uh, spread all the uh, ballast all around 
the visible uh, tracks there. Now I will need to wait for 10 to 12 hours to completely dry. <sighs> so I will go with something else. <coughs> Okay, I need to do something there right now. I need at least to progress a little more or even complete it if I can. The arbor section, pier section, dock section has its proper rules. Uh, everything here uh, will not fit inside any other parts of the uh, layout of the uh, other scenes. So uh, I will break one of my general rules right now 
uh, and this rule says that never place figurines until last minute. But I will be breaking it right now because I will be placing those figurines right there. I have one, two, three Louisville figurines and the rest is Lemax. And all of them are rare items. All of them are, have been retired. <laughs> it has been a little difficult to assemble all of them, but I will use them. I need to proceed step by step, placing each and single one of them down below on the um, pier section. And step by step, I will try to complete it. I will also use no, the, the, that back there. It is sand and gravel. It is absolutely almost sand aquarium, sand fish tank, sand, okay? And I will need them, but I will not go entirely with simply sand there on the uh, white part there still um, free. I will do a mix of things there and then I will decide if it is complete or not. So, let's go. Let me place the camera on a fixed position, then I will start this adventure. Come home, but I know you don't. So this time, 
you, baby. Oh, I lost you, baby. I said goodbye with tears inside. Calling out your name as you shut the door behind you. And now I wonder why won't you come back? you, baby. Mm -hmm. My life used to be in blue. Now it's mostly filled with glue. I miss you, baby. Yeah, I miss you, baby. I said goodbye with tears inside. Calling out your name as you shut the door behind you. And now I wonder why won't you Tissue, baby, this 
thinking you're so bold, but are you always unaware? Walk up by the
was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. Final recap of part 16 of the 2021 series, and I will start from there, from the frozen lake with people ice skating on top of it. I did a lot of digging all along this part 16 um, because I need, I want all the table accents to be at ground level. Let me just explain here. This is ground and I've digged in order to have just here perfectly at uh, ground level. Then here a little uh, overground and here underground okay this is more natural i hate having a table accent on top of the ground like if the lake was on top of a, a hill of a mini hill um no not natural if you have a styrofoam and you can dig you should do this if you don't have styrofoam or anything else that is uh, that you can easy uh, dig into it it's a pity okay and also for the fountain there i dig uh, not too much there because i just want the border to be hided and digging into the styrofoam also will help you hide the plug there that will be go there and the uh, uh, power cord etc here too there uh, the big uh, um, plug will go there and then the power cord, I will hide the power cord, oops, there. From the other side, up there, the four kids playing in the row there, um, they were absolutely very tall, at least, uh, I, I think I dig, at, uh, I dig uh, five or four. Yes, four or five centimeters. It was very, very, very tall and it was preventing everyone to see what was behind the, the, um, the, the guys there playing with the rope. And now uh, I can also go uh, a little more closer. They are at ground level, even more, even under the ground there, okay? But now you can see everything uh, through them and they cause nothing and it is more natural. Obviously, I will have to um, cover the uh, corners there as I always do, then put some snow on top of it, but very easy. Uh, another thing there. Uh, yes, let me just go there. Track underpass, no more track overpass. I always listen to your comments, so I modified track uh, with track underpass instead of track overpass because uh, effect, uh, yes, it's going under the track, the passage there. Okay, uh, the, uh, ah, the another digging there was for the uh, Santa's swing and also Santa's swing is now at uh, ground level and I will cover the corners there. Um, it is more natural to have them like this. And then another very tall table accent was the carolers. <laughs> Maybe you have seen me digging in there with some difficulties. I had to dig from the back, jumping on a small ladder and then use my uh, my usual technique to carve into it. This was very difficult to do. And this is almost six centimeters. The hole is almost six centimeters um, deep. Okay, but now uh, also there you have uh, carolers at ground levels and they, they will not um, hide anything from the three and the half level right there. Okay, on the, on behind there. Then, then I completed all the walls there. You have seen me gluing all the paper, simulating the walls here. Uh, and then also there, all along there, the corner and then there. I still need to cut this, paper, this piece off. 
but I generally wait uh, three, four, five hours before cutting it in order to have it uh, uh, dried. Otherwise, I, I <laughs> make a mess. Uh, nothing is completed. Maybe I will add also another some words here. But uh, uh, this uh, then then yes, the rock paper. I had the rock paper there all along there, and also behind the pub uh, and behind uh, the houses there. Um, another very difficult point to work on, and once again I work it from behind. Uh, using my little ladder. Um, okay, and uh, it is a different effect now. Um, yes, it's starting to look almost natural right now. No more white. Okay, no, yes, I still have white, but less and less white visible. That's my intent to hide the maximum uh, white uh, I can here. Too much white. I will do it next uh, time with part 17. Then, yes, then guys, this. Okay. All right. There. The figurines. Yes, I broke one of my rules, but I needed to do that. Technique used there. Uh, you have seen me using uh, some um, uh, printed paper for the cobblestones there, uh, different from everything else. Then for the sand, I just make a fake uh, wall in order to contain the sand. Then I used the atomizer. <laughs> it was not milk. <laughs> I assure you, it was a mix of water and PVC glue, um, almost 60% uh, water and 40% PVC glue. And then I was sprayed with the atomizer on the sand in order to compact it and maintain it in this form here, in this form there. Because otherwise, uh, all along the season, uh, the sand will... <laughs> have uh, scattered here and there. Now, I here it is uh, almost uh, dried, okay? Here not, no, it is still wet because I added, after I removed the fake mini wall, um, I've uh, added some more um, sand than uh, a little bit of uh, uh, atomized mix of water and PVC glue. Um, Almost complete there. Mm, all the figuring, all the rare figurines are there. I will surely add some more figurines there, not related to the sea, but maybe some um, people from the uh, from the other um, part of the city of the village coming towards to see or to look at something or someone on the pier on the arbor section. And also, yes, uh, I had uh, some more um, crystal clear uh, silicon there, okay, uh, to hide everything else uh, in the corner. And I don't think this uh, has, uh, I don't think this is uh, awful. No, not perfect as always, but the sand. And here it is uh, um, much more drier, so the, here it is uh, clearer than darker, darker. So how I did this, I uh, added um, the maximum amount of mix of water and PVC glue here towards the seed and less and less. And here just a little spray here all along the inner uh, border. And yes, this is the uh, overall uh, look still need to add the other both there mm. e don't, don't 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 worry i will add it um then what i did uh, okay yes the ballast um the ballast uh, is not uh, um, yet dried at 100%, so I cannot run the train right now because I will surely <laughs> have a shortcut if um, I switch on the train right now. 
but the ballast and I can go here from the corner there. You can see that the ballast, I, I'm starting from this point here. I will show you this point here because I started from um, this part here. So it is the um, driest one. So the ballast is not moving, it is very well dried and hardened. The, um, the rails are free, so anything else. And this is a more natural look for uh, uh, railroad with the ballast there. Okay, I still need to to clean it a little bit because I still have some uh, some ballast coming off. Okay, like uh, here you can see I have some grain of ballast there, but uh, no also also here I will need to add some more um, rock paper. But uh, I don't think this was a bad uh, a bad part. For me, at least for me, uh, I progressed uh, not not at maximum speed, but I made some progress finally. Then I will close with with up there. Okay. So what I did there a pile of sand with a shovel, of course, in, 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 uh, in it, and a bucket, and a broom, and a ladder there. I used the technique of um, cutting uh, plastic uh, glass there for having the perimeter, around perimeter. Then I had a, a, a one, first layer of uh, sand, and then I atomized some uh, mix of PVC glue and uh, water. Then I added the two more layers of uh, mm, of sand. Then I put the uh, shovel in it and then atomize it once more. Uh, it's not already no, it's not uh, it's not dried. So I wanted this to be as much as possible as a construction site. So what is a construction site without a pile of sand, uh, broom, uh, shovel, uh, bucket, and ladder? And then also in there in the corner, I add a table there with an anvil, an hammer, and a wood saw. Okay, uh, the table I made the table. Um, I've not made the anvil, the hammer, and the uh, wood saw. Those are elements I both uh, f from uh, uh, a store that uh, was selling. Uh, uh, tools uh, for the um, nativity uh, uh, creeps. Okay, uh, so the only three things I didn't make, and uh, the table, yes, is my usual uh, nine millimeters thick uh, styrofoam there, and then I've uh, attached them with some um, double uh, sided tape. Okay, and also there, uh, oops, the I will put it back. There, okay, and there, and so anvil, hammer, and wood saw was very classic in Victorian era construction site. The shovel there is uh, nothing else than um, a skewer and uh, half a millimeter uh, thick uh, um, tin foil. Uh, I <laughs> I've uh, found it on uh, Amazon, but it's not very suitable for anything else. So I cut it very hard to cut it. I haven't filmed it because I was, no, I filmed it, but I was swearing all the time. So I cut all the sequences uh, on how I made the uh, show. Well, then the ladder there is not in my, is uh, also very easy to do a uh, couple of long and uh, three millimeters um, of diameter uh, skewers there then one mil one and a half millimeters for the uh, steps of the ladder there another another <coughs> uh, skewer for the broom there and uh, for the uh, tip of the broom there is some um, how, how can I describe it? Some um, 
dry flower uh, that you can buy any in any um, garden store okay the, this is uh, dried flowers uh, dried flowers okay and i cut the flowers and i just uh, think uh, okay, uh, no more. And uh, the bucket, obviously, it is from the same store I bought, the Anvil, the Hammer, and uh, uh, the saw, because these uh, I haven't made uh, the uh, saw, uh, the, the bucket there. Um, anything else, I think? No, anything else? Okay, yes, this is not, uh, not dried, okay, uh, here, no, still need to dry. And I think that's all for part 16, I think. Uh, yes, I will close it right now and see you in some milliseconds for my outro. I survived, guys, and the cold has lost the battle, uh, not the war. Unfortunately, because I already know that next time I will have to fight once again. I hate breaking the rules, even if they are my proper rules. The figurines down there, and I know you can see the figurines right now, or the arrow section, were absolutely necessary with the technique I used. The technique of spreading the sand, then using the atomizer with a mix of water and PVC glue, uh, need the figurines to be present why I had this mix. Without the mix, the sand uh, all along the season will, will have, would have scattered everywhere, making a mess, even on the floor, um, mess. So I needed to uh, freeze the sand in some way. This was the correct technique. Then adding the uh, figurines right now will prevent me for, from damaging the sand on a later time, putting the figurines on top of the sand. No, uh, this is the only way to use this technique and having a decent look. So only time that I've broken my rules, still needed to add many more figurines, but they will not damage the sand because I will add them on the cobblestone part of the arbor section. And then details. You have just seen how important are the details uh, with the bucket, the ladder, the shower, pile of sand, the broom, etc., table, etc. And maybe I will add some more details uh, next time. Details, details, details. This is the only way to uh, approach uh, a certain amount of uh, reality. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and if you wish, see you next time.